Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. We're back here in my favorite parking lot location because you know what? We have that one luxury brand that's really making some big waves again in the auto industry and it's really starting with this vehicle here. This is the totally redesigned from top to bottom 2022 Lexus NX350 and you know what? We got the F Sport. But before we get into this bright red compact luxury SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus has been doing the business since 1989. I remember when they first came out, nobody really took them 100% seriously, but boy oh boy, have things changed because when you look at those German Euro brands and other luxury brands, they're really taking notice of what Lexus has done over the years because they really have, of course, carried over that reliability aspect of the Toyota brand, which is that parent brand of Lexus, but also bringing such fine touches and, of course, really holding a value over its whole lifespan. Now, in this smaller SUV segment, things are really on fire. Not only do you have German Euro brands like the BMW X1, but then you also have other European brands like Volvo with their XC40. But what I want to find out is, has Lexus done enough with this redesign or have they kind of faltered to go up against these big key name players in this hot segment? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our totally redesigned NX350 F Sport and find out is it the better luxury, small size luxury SUV to buy over that BMW X1 or the Volvo XC40? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, I'm in love with this color and I'm not really a big red SUV kind of guy, but Redline definitely hits the nail on the head. First of all, I love the name, Redline. Second of all, it really accentuates the fine curves of this NX. Now at the front of the business, they continued with their tradition of bringing you that signature daytime running lamp. It's like a backwards L going on there. Really like it on both sides. LED turn singles, and then we have the optional triple LED beam headlights. Everything blacked out really helps with that sporty sense in our F Sport. Now when you go F Sport, it's not just a cosmetic thing. It does have adaptive dampers all four corners. They reach tuned a lot of the chassis settings. Plus, you're gonna, of course, get those physical differences that separate it from the rest of the NX lineup. And it all starts with these massive functional corner vents. Loving the way they did the detail, just like the front grill. Gloss black, but you know what? The key word there is functional, and you're gonna have your LED fog lamps. I'm glad that they went with this flat silver on the bottom splitter here. It really helps kind of break up the sea of gloss black and it helps give it that extra sporty look. Plus this is a functional piece. This is all for aerodynamics to change from your regular NX350 to this F Sport. Now, as we come across that massive spindle, spindle grill. Now we all remember that Audi is the one responsible for the open grill design, but Lexus has really made it their own. Very unique. With its, with its waterfall spindle shape. Love the gloss black. You got a forward-facing camera. They sunk in the Lexus badge very cleanly. And you can see all the way around, you're gonna get that gloss black, functional on the bottom, functional in the middle, and then the silver looks really clean following it along the bottom edge there. Now, when we get up onto the low slung hood, it's actually very, very clean styling. You're gonna have these higher edges to the hood, which is perfect from a visual standpoint from when you're piloting this NX, but it's nothing too obnoxious. Now, if you're comparing this to the XC40, definitely the XC40 is a little bit more tame at the front end. Same thing with the BMW X1, but I think that Lexus really has made a nice little niche for themselves with this design. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. I hope you're ready for some big wheels because you're getting them. 20 inch multi-spoke gloss black wheels, 235 on the width, 50 series sidewall. And what I love is that they painted the whole fender opening. So when you go the regular NX350, this is flat black. That's a big no-no on a luxury SUV like this. Love the way they took the red line red all the way around the fender opening. And with our gloss black wheels, uh, 
I don't know. You know, it's, it's, I'm not, I'm trying to give love to other color wheels like silver, but the black is working so well. You're going to get a little bit larger rotor size, of course, fully ventilated. And then we have all wheel drive. That's going to get the power to the ground as if you put Gorilla Glue all over the tires. Now coming down the side, of course, you're going to get the required F Sport badge. A lot of history with the letter F and Lexus. We have gloss black on the mirror caps. These are electric folding mirrors, which is a nice touch. We got our turn signals, little bit of flat black on the bottom, but I'm okay with that because that's gonna take a nice beating from all the rocks and stuff that might spit up. Low, low roof line, and guess what? We got a panoramic sunroof. We got the gloss black. Everything is gloss black on the F-Sport. Kind of makes sense. Gloss black on your roof rails. Look what they did. They listened to me. They listened to Rady's Rides. Instead of bright, shiny metal work top and bottom, we got the dark chrome finish. See, they really do pay attention to what we're doing here on Rady's Rides. Now, one of the things I think is really cool about the door handles is that you actually don't pull them like a door handle. They have a button and that opens up the door for you to get in. So don't go up to a new NX and be like, hey, I'm locked out. You're not. Just hit the button and then it opens up. Very nicely done with the gloss black around the edges. Look at the lines. Nice flow going on. Really shows a lot of depth. It's not just a flat slab of metal going down the road. Great size on the quarter window. I love the way they flare out the window treatment, especially because it is that dark chrome finish. And then swinging it around the back, almost perfect, almost. They did a great job updating their lighting, LED lighting, of course, and it goes all the way across. We got the new Lexus script. Instead of having a Lexus badge, we got the Lexus script. You know what I'm going to say. This guy's got to go tuck it underneath here. Make this come out just a little bit further because this is an F-Sport. I would like this to come out a little bit further. So we are going to zonk this general area. But the great news is you got nice, clean NX350 all-wheel drive badging. And then to be honest with you, going all the way down to the bottom, I'm glad that they just kept it clean. No exhaust whatsoever, showing at least. And then you have your flat black with the simulated rear diffuser. Definitely looks sporty from the rear, but why don't we go ahead, comparing it to the XC40, comparing it to the X1, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our NX350. All right, guys, we got the hood open. You do have hydraulic hood stress. Now, once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, the numbers that you saw on a lot of these vehicles at the back of the vehicle, where it says 350, 400, this, that, it actually referred to how many liters of displacement the engine was. Well, guess what? Underneath the hood of this NX350, we don't have a 3.5 liter V6. What do we have? First of all, we got a nice looking engine cover, good size, not too big, not too small. And if you'll notice the word turbo, because at the back part portion near the firewall, this is a turbocharged power plant. You're looking at a 2.4 liter inline four turbocharged engine, 275 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission with all wheel drive, zero to 60, about 6.6 .6 seconds. Top speed is governed to 126 miles an hour. The vehicle weighs 3,987 pounds. We got that adaptive variable suspension and MPGs, 22 in the city, 29 on the highway. So comparing this to the XC40, you're definitely getting a little bit more punch out of this turbocharged engine. And with the X1, same story, depending on which way you option your X1. But the great news is all of them have eight-speed automatic transmissions. But why don't we fire up this NX350 F Sport and hear if it makes any noise. All right, guys, come on inside this bright red NX350 F Sport. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, 
I am looking at Mercedes-Benz products. I'm looking at Audis. Of course, the BMW X1 and the Volvo XC40. Hell, I'm even looking at an Acura RDX. I'm very curious about the price on this one. How much is it? Very good question. I like the way you think. Let's get down to business here. The bottom line. MSRP for the way that this one is optioned, with all the goodies, you're looking at a tick. A skosh underneath $55,000. So basically, it's $54,795. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I'm actually digging the style of the clean lines on the door panel. Up top, you'll notice right away we have the optional multi-speaker Mark Levinson sound system. And look at the trim that they put to the right of it. Not carbon fiber, but it looks sporty, luxurious, and classy all at the same time. That's what Lux Alexis is able to pull off. Now, with that red stitching, it matches the red line red exterior so nicely. Red on the armrest, no gloss black. You'll notice a silver button there. That's to open up the door. Now, if the battery dies, you're gonna pull back on that and it becomes a handle to open up the door. The door pocket is not super sized, but the great news is it's large enough for a freshly pressed Cuban sandwich and a bottle of Topo Chico to wash it down. If you are unaware, guess what? Tampa Bay is the home of the original Cuban sandwich, and Lori and I are going to get one as soon as we're done filming this. So going from the door panel to the dash, they could have done some extra red stitching here. So I am going to zonk that, but it is nice, soft material. And then this is really where they knocked it out of the park. You get 14 inches. Yes, 14 inches. I didn't stutter. I didn't, you didn't mishear me. A visual pleasure with this infotainment system. So what's great is you're going to get automatic uh, over the air updates so that it's not going to go out of date like previous infotainment systems in your other vehicles. Plus, obviously navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, watch this. Hey Lexus. What do you want to do? Where is the closest place to get a Cuban sandwich? The closest Cuban sandwich is Frankie's at 1960. Voila, thank you. You gotta, you gotta thank her for that. I'm not going to Frankie's. We're going over to a place in Tampa that I know. That's where it's really authentic. But you'll notice with the maps, you got that great zoom in feature, obviously full touch screen. You got your heated steering wheel, ventilated seats, heated seats. And then I want to show you something kind of cool. Shortcuts. These are all the frequently used features on your system. And if you want more in depth, I will leave the link of a tutorial that we did in another NX review to go more in depth with the system. But you got your frequently used, I'll pull it back up, nice swipe, and then you could get into your head up display, all the driver assistance, and then the final portion to it. So really nice and clever how easy it is to get to the important things that you use the most. Who cares what other people use? It's all about you in this NX. Another thing I like when it comes to air conditioning, S-Flow doesn't stand for super, doesn't stand for stupendous, it stands for smart. Look what it says, direct air only to occupied seats. See, I can read, hook on phonics, work for me. That makes sense, the air will be stronger where people are sitting, love it. Cameras, watch this, hit the view button, bird's eye 360, see if anybody's peeping and creeping. Any of those Volvo owners, maybe BMW owners wanna check out your NX350 F Sport, you can see how many people are looking at you. Get a little bird's eye. I'm gonna throw it in reverse. Super clear on the resolution. Nice trajectory and your 360. And then we're right back to where we started. Voila. Love the way you got physical knobs for the dual climate control. Look at how it changes the numbers. See how it says low here? You adjust it and now you got your numbers. You got your blower set up. You got an actual volume knob. And then look at all the soft touch material, the red. Lexus does such a great job with their red. We have your mode selector, eco, sport, sport plus, and then custom. I'll show you more of that when you come to the business end. You got a little tiny nook here. I have my garage door opener. This would be a good place for some maybe Tootsie Rolls, USB-C, USB-A, and a wireless charging pad. If you wanna see smart engineering, watch this. Ooh. 
Now you have a storage compartment with a 12 volt, perfect place to put that snow globe that you got when you were eight years old on a vacation down to sunny Florida. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, why would they have a snow globe of Tampa? It's because it actually snowed in Tampa once upon a time in the 1980s. The felt lining won't scratch your snow globe, so you'll be able to keep it nice and shiny. You won't have to polish it as much. We got two cup holders. There's your Lexus key fob. Sleek, classy, very nicely done. This is gonna control your eight speed automatic. A little bit of gloss black, but nothing too crazy. I would prefer if they would have just went totally with this material, but the gloss black isn't too crazy. Nice and soft. Like I said, Lexus does dark red interiors better than any other car manufacturer. And what I like is I could open it this way, or we could open it this way. Check it out, more felt lining, nice deep storage compartment. Another thing that we're gonna get, Lori and I, after our, our uh, Cubans, is some empanadas. And you could probably fit, I would say, you could stack four to five empanadas in there. It depends on how thick they are. Sometimes they're really thick. If you go to some of the not authentic places, they make them real thin like paper. Those aren't good. But what is really good are these seats. S-Sport name, I love the two-tone, the perforated material, of course, ventilated, heated, full electric assist. Even the design and the bolstering is sexy. That looks good. I want to touch it. I want to see it. And then, of course, up top, we have our panoramic sunroof. Nice one-touch ability. Have it come back. Look at that. Look, Mom, no hands. Come on back. But why don't you come on over here to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of this NX350 F-Sport. All right, guys. Business time behind the wheel. Like all the nice touches, you're going to get that F-Sport badging on the sill plate. Even though the sill is small, looks great. Pedal box is spot on the money. The best one in the industry in this segment. Nice large aluminum depth pedal, brake pedal, and throttle. You even got the red stitched floor mats. That's good for an extra five horsepower. Love the way they did the seat controls with the nice gloss black. Makes it look very, very sleek. The stitching is wonderful. I'm six feet tall, and even though this is a compact SUV, it's not very compact in here. And I love the way everything is laid out. Makes sense, and it looks good. Steering wheel, another great place to put your hands. Red stitching all the way around. The F-Sport badge. I wish that they would have done the red stitching on the steering wheel here. So I am going to zonk that, but you do get nice large paddles if you want to go up and down that eight-speed automatic. We have an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then guess what? The dash. The one thing that does stink is to get rid of that stupid picture in the center. You have to hold down these buttons to make it go away, but you got a nice large digital display. I'm going to scroll through the different modes. So you got sport, you got sport plus. I love the way it puts the tack across the top like a freaking race car, but it's nice to have all that clear instrumentation there. And you're going to get a large super large head-up display. One thing a lot of people don't show you is watch this. Secret compartment. That's where you could keep your atomic fireballs, keep your balls away from everybody. The balls are just for you. Nice hot atomic fireballs. Close it up. But why don't we get into the back seat and see how much room is back there for your passengers in this NX350. All right, guys, back seat time. Now, one of the things I want to point out is that the rear doors don't open very wide. That is fully extended. So let me know if you think that should be a zonk. Put it in the comment section. But come on in because the space back here is very nicely organized and I feel really comfortable. Like I said, I'm six feet tall. Even with the panoramic sunroof, there's plenty of headroom in here, which is great. Backs of the seats, super soft. You're going to get a nice size pocket. So guess what? You don't have to share your Cuban with the people in the back seat. There's enough room to actually put two Cubans per person back here. And I highly recommend if you're going on a longer trip, just load it up. Go with the two Cubans per side. Two plus two Cubans equals four Cuban sandwiches. Nicely pressed. Mm, that sounds good right about now. But we're going to get some soon, so wish you were here. We could share it with you. But the back of the console here, you are getting your AC, and you're getting a 12 volt, and you're getting two USB C's, not A's, C's. It's the only time in your life where a C is better than an A. Normally you want the A. Now when it comes to connectivity, 
I got my own pocket. You know me. I'm going to try to get three freaking Cubans in there. Sitting here just chilling, waiting to go to Tampa, waiting to wrap this up. I can't wait. Flip that down. I would say Charmin soft, but it's more like uh, one-ply toilet paper soft, which could sometimes leave a rash. You get that paper burn in the wrong place. Two cup holders. Lori's telling me to wrap it up. Enough with the jokes. Seats, though, are phenomenal, and th those are Charmin soft. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area and see how much room we have in this new NX350. All right, guys, time to get into the back of the NX. Hit the button right under the X. X marks the spot. Hit the button. You got electric assist. What are you going to be greeted to? You're going to be greeted to, believe it or not, 23 cubic feet of space with the rear seat up. Of course, we got the required Twinkie cargo net. You put your box of Twinkies there. Because of the cargo net, guaranteed to not slide your Twinkie all over the back area of this cargo floor. You do have, of course, the required 12 volt, and you got these very ingenious hooks. This is great for when you're going shopping and you got all those cans of soup, maybe a couple cantaloupes or honeydews. Hang the bags here and you don't have to worry about your watermelons or whatever uh, sliding around, rolling around and breaking on your driveway. Now, of course, the seats will fold down, but before I do that, I wanna show you something. Nice storage compartment here. So you can lift it up like this, or you can lick it, lift it up and kind of fold it like that. Now, what I love about this area, it kind of reminds me when I was a kid. My dad and I used to uh, run RC cars. And what we would do is we would have to put the car somewhere in my dad's blazer that he had at the time. And sometimes it would roll around and all the stuff. This is a perfect size for a nice gas powered RC car. You got the felt lining, so you're not gonna scratch anything. And you could put even, even put the remote control back here and everything and some supplies. So very smart to have this storage. The one thing that isn't smart and I am gonna have to zonk is putting down the rear seats. So what you gotta do is you could either go like this and try to do it this way. Was I successful? See, I wasn't even successful. What you gotta do really is do it from the passenger side. And I don't like that. That's a little too much extra steps to really just put down the seats, which should be easy peasy. Once you go over to the passenger door, you're fine. But as you can see, with the seats down, you're gonna maximize space. It's almost totally flat, which is good for those larger, longer objects. But you know what? That's really the only zonk that's back here. Let's go ahead though. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our Redline Red NX350 F-Sport and see how it drives. All right, guys, we're in this new 2022 Lexus NX350 F-Sport. Let's go ahead and go on throttle real quick. On throttle, here we go. So we have it in Sport Plus mode with that tachometer across the top. Nice shifts from the eight-speed automatic not too buzzy even though we do have a four-cylinder turbocharged engine head-up display is super clear love the visibility with how far the a pillars are pulled apart and if you're worried well if i go f sport is the ride too uncomfortable no with that adaptive variable suspension you're still going to get a great driving ride as you're going down the highway but the great news is it'll change up as you go and want to maybe turn up the wick through the twisty bits. The new infotainment system is worth every penny. They did a great job. It was well worth the wait. The seats are phenomenal. Bolstered nicely, but also so comfortable. And then of course the clear tunes from the Mark Levinson sound system. Nobody could argue with that. There is a little bit of wind noise I'm noticing, and I don't know if that's a pre-production thing, so something just to be aware of. But other than that, I mean, cruising down the highway here, all the safety features, nice large side mirrors, steering wheel feels great. But I think the biggest news of the day is getting rid of that pesky track pad. All right, as we're getting on the highway, I want to kind of test out the brakes and the handling a little bit. But as we're driving here, very very smooth let's go on throttle on throttle on the brakes 
throwing it in with the all-wheel drive. Look at this, handles nice, holds the line perfect. Oh, wow, here we go. Plenty of pep from that turbocharged engine. And the eight-speed automatic transmission shifts very nicely. It's great to have everything so well laid out in here. And I think it's just fast enough. Would be interesting to see an NXF, uh, that's for sure. But still, I think they did a great job with a lot of the different elements to this new NX. Definitely when it comes to the chassis and the driving characteristics. And then of course you're gonna get that same great reliability that Lexus is known for. Having the ventilated seats, the heated seats, the heated steering wheel. I mean, you have every comfort at your fingertips in this new NX. And when comparing it to the BMW and the XC40, the Volvo XC40, I, I think they did a better job with this car. I really, really do. You're definitely getting more for the price point. But uh, hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the NX350 F Sport is all about with all-wheel drive. We're going to get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split yeah, second. It's been another great day with this Lexus NX350 F Sport. I definitely want to thank the whole Lexus team for allowing Radies Rise access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Are you impressed with what they have done with this NX? Would you rather go? Volvo XC40 or BMW X1, put it down in the comment section, but I'm kind of digging some of these special touches on this NX350 F Sport, but I'm dying to know what you think. So put it in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to The Rock. Behind the lens, the rock, the glue that holds Rady's rides together. Lori working that camera like a champ because she is a champ. Thank you for being the best in the biz, Lori. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.